You're watching this is channel. I'm Adriana Badenek, CEO of Miadria Group, and here with me again is Martin Badenek, our CTO. Hi. So today's topic is SAP in the cloud infrastructure. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about SAP for people that might not know what it exactly is? So SAP is one of the most known enterprise resource planning uh, solutions. Uh, it encompasses number of modules for uh, integrating companies across continents, but it can also be used on a regional level or uh, for local companies. It can provide uh, from financial to logistics, uh, HR, and many other uh, processes in uh, a well-organized, documented uh, uh, form, and uh, it's implemented by many uh, multinational organizations, but also by successful startups and smaller companies that tend to have uh, complex processes. Uh, SAP also has a, a, a very long uh, a technical development path, so it started long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. Current version is uh, HANA, but most of the uh, users at the moment are still not using mm -hmm. that one. They are on release uh, 3, so mm -hmm. on, on kind of a third version of uh, SAP system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, we talk to many clients, we talk to many big corporations and uh, companies that use SAP in their day-to-day -day business. And uh, what we see is uh, a lot of those companies are definitely considering moving, moving the SAP to the cloud. Um, uh, how is the situation with SAP in the cloud? Uh, which public cloud can offer um, those services? So basic uh, uh, process of uh, installing uh, SAP system on infrastructure requires kind of uh, uh, assessment by experts what mm -hmm. uh, compute storage networking is uh, needed and there are different uh, databases and operating systems supported mm -hmm. but basically SAP recommends uh, certified hardware solutions that are proven to work well with certain SAP uh, releases mm -hmm. and uh, SAP products. So uh, customers uh, uh, have to undergo kind of a, a sizing exercise mm -hmm. uh, to decide how much compute storage and networking they need and then they have to choose appropriate uh, hardware mm -hmm. or with public cloud, they can basically choose certified instances by mm -hmm. SAP uh, that are uh, proven to work with uh, SAP mm -hmm. solutions. So, mm -hmm. so basically public cloud providers work with SAP to offer uh, pre-certified uh, uh, instances to companies. Yes, to so basically, uh, Microsoft, AWS, mm -hmm. Google, and number of uh, smaller players, even hosting uh, uh, providers, can select uh, hardware and start process of certification with uh, SAP and keep their uh, uh, their uh, infrastructure uh, specific uh, instances certified for specific mm -hmm. SAP. Uh, products. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a few years back you had the um, presentation on uh, Microsoft Windows conference in Croatia uh, about SAP on Azure specifically mm -hmm. and I will put that link in the comments below. Great. Uh, so people can uh, so one it. of the biggest uh, SAP customers is uh, uh, Microsoft and since Microsoft was using SAP for a long, long time, CEOs met and then there, there was a discussion. Microsoft was very eager to push Azure and to somehow enable uh, their uh, uh, public cloud offering to support uh, SAP workloads. Mm -hmm. But for a long time, Microsoft had, since they were one of the biggest SAP implementations with 
uh, or quite a few modules implemented a lot of uh, development systems, testing systems, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, even different production systems, they basically had uh, uh, a mixture of uh, bare-bone uh, uh, mm -hmm. installations, uh, they had some virtualized things, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, I think since last year or beginning of this year, all of SAP loads in Microsoft uh, uh, production, development, and mm -hmm. everything is uh, currently uh, implemented on uh, Azure. Mm -hmm. So Ma Microsoft not only offers uh, Azure uh, uh, already for uh, uh, SAP to mm -hmm. their customers, they are one of the mm -hmm. uh, users of yeah. their own uh, own platform. Amazing, which is great showing by your own example. It's always, yes. It always really helps. Yes, so uh, basically Microsoft and uh, invested uh, not, not only in certifying their uh, infrastructure and platform and instances, they also gained a lot of experience and knowledge mm -hmm. through actually using, uh, using SAP solutions on their own platform for their own mm -hmm. uh, uh, business. Um, and uh, when, we, when we talk, like, uh, sometimes we uh, encountered this line of thinking. So now I have SAP on premise. I can just go to some hosting provider, rent out a machine, and uh, just uh, install my own SAP up there in the hosting environment. So can you tell us why uh, this is not, not a really not good, a good idea? idea. Yeah. So basically, of course, you can size your own hardware or you can go to a hosting company mm -hmm. that will m most probably be able to have a, a hardware hotel mm -hmm. to, to place hardware on top of uh, uh, their ho uh, hosting offer. And uh, from different hardware manufacturers, they, they can get a certified hardware uh, that, that can mm -hmm. run SAP, but uh, if you are running SUSE or so, some other operating system for uh, SAP, then uh, you need expertise basically uh, also to uh, tweak and uh, to optimize mm -hmm. uh, operating system on top of that specific hardware that is quite cumbersome, that depends on a uh, uh, number of uh, hardware components mm -hmm. in that server and most probably hosting provider will not do that part of the job. Mm -hmm. Well, public cloud providers invested uh, not only in hardware, but they offer also uh, optimized operating systems on which you can run mm -hmm. uh, uh, SAP like SUSE, mm -hmm. Linux or, or, or Windows that, that is uh, optimized for running uh, SAP workloads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for instance, and we, we for had... For Release 3 and HANA. Yeah. So that it's not a small endeavor mm -hmm. actually to prepare uh, uh, operating system for SAP installation. Yeah, I remember we had one client and he was asking us how many experts for SUSE we have and we have zero experts for SUSE. Yes, because <laughs> we, we have Linux experts and uh, if you are using uh, um, SUSE for SAP on mm -hmm. Azure, Basically, you get a fully optimized mm -hmm. installation of uh, Linux and you don't have to bother yeah. with uh, all advisories, all the yeah. uh, maintenance things. So uh, you, you get that uh, uh, as a part of your uh, Azure experience mm -hmm. in, uh, while uh, using SAP. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we talk about... Um, uh, SAP in the cloud, so one of the biggest advantages is definitely scalability. Yes, yeah, so uh, many cluster systems are quite complex by nature and they require a lot of experience. Uh, so in a uh, public cloud you get a lot of automation tools, you get uh, templates and you get best practices mm -hmm. how you can quickly 
uh, implement even more complex uh, mm-hmm. uh, distributed yeah. environments for running SAP in production. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and with many companies we see that uh, when they do have a huge workload in this SAP, like at the end of the month or during the budgeting period or some specific cases, then they have uh, not enough hardware and during the year uh, they have too much hardware. Yes, so, so sizing exercise uh, mm-hmm. uh, is uh, really much simpler Mm -hmm. if you are using public cloud because Mm -hmm. it's uh, fairly easy to uh, just uh, 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 change instance size or add new instances uh, to your cluster Mm -hmm. and you can boost uh, uh, your uh, capacity without uh, Mm -hmm. experiencing uh, procurement delays uh, adding new hardware and stuff like that Mm -hmm. it's really a one of the Mm -hmm. uh, important benefits. Yeah, and one of the important things, we know how SAP is important to companies and we know how much uh, uh, of business will depend on SAP. So what would be the recommended path to take when you are moving SAP to the cloud? So There there are two cases. One is uh, Greenfield, where uh, so there are uh, companies that are just starting with uh, SAP or they Mm -hmm. move from uh, open ERP or uh, some other mm-hmm. uh, even uh, d- dynamics uh, some other ERP systems to SAP mm-hmm. so for them I think it's no brainer uh, that they, they have this uh, development test and uh, education phase where for sure they uh, they experience uh, even price and the uh, time benefits of public cloud immediately and in, in a very clear way. And for production, they have a choice to run it on-prem, uh, or hybrid or in public cloud. Of course, if they run it in public cloud, they will have uh, not only backup, but they have uh, disaster recovery and many proper uh, uh, best practices much easier mm-hmm. to implement and much faster. Mm-hmm. So f- for this greenfield, I would say mm-hmm. it's a kind of a no-brainer. For brownfield, uh, where people are running different versions of uh, uh, SAP on-prem or uh, virtualized, or so w- with SAP, it's also common practice to use bare metal servers mm-hmm. and only part of the system can be virtualized and stuff like that. It's really uh, not so easy decision. So most of those customers will have to move to SAP HANA Mm -hmm. in the next uh, few years, one Mm -hmm. or two years. So um, it it has to be evaluated whether uh, it would make sense to uh, uh, do kind of a lift and shift of old system or to implement uh, SAP HANA in public cloud and migrate from uh, mm-hmm. older versions so, or uh, first uh, upgrade to SAP HANA and then mm-hmm. uh, move it to, to public cloud. Uh, so that depends on many many factors and of course we are open for discussion there mm-hmm. so we, uh, we can uh, uh, help uh, along with our uh, partners and with Microsoft to assess your uh, situation. Microsoft AWS and, and Google. <laughs> yes, so uh, Microsoft AWS and Google they have uh, basically uh, a very capable infrastructure offering. They mainly differ in automation and in approach and mm-hmm. that depends if you are kind of a multi-cloud if you're a mm-hmm. microsoft shop or if yeah, you have loads sure. of aws so of yeah. course uh, we, yeah. we can, help we can of course well. help assess that as well so basically if you have any questions regarding the sap in the cloud please um, write them, them down in the comments below uh, also this uh, sap in the cloud will be a three video series uh, this first one is more more concentrated on the infrastructure the second video will be about the use cases we will talk into more details on uh, um, how uh, companies can really um, get this started and how we have seen our clients get this started and the third video will be on how to extend your move to the cloud with sap with some other um, uh, ideas 
So, yeah. um, do you have something else to add now? Anna? Well, for start, I think that's... Uh, Great. So, uh, um, um, catch up with us uh, next time. Uh, we will record the new video for the next Monday. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.